Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Castle Story. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be jumping into this absolutely adorable little indie game all about these little Bricktrons that you can see on screen here. These little guys in yellow. Now, Castle Story is a game that I've had my eye on for quite some time. It is a Kickstarter success story, but I haven't played much of it. I bought it a long, long time ago, but I haven't played much of it. I was recently contacted by the developers to check it out for the channel. So that's what we're doing today, but I have had this game for quite some time. I did buy it back when I first saw it. I have been curious about it for a long time. And this was basically a perfect opportunity to go, hey, let's actually sink some time into this and see how it's come along since I first saw it. So it is a management game about these little guys. My job is gonna be to make sure they're safe, make sure they're happy, make sure they're building stuff because the building in this game is really good. It might look cutesy and adorable and like it's gonna be some little easy thing, but the building is really where this game shines. So I'm super excited to start getting into some of that stuff. But what we're gonna do first, much like any good game involving survival, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in a an order here. So this menu here is all of my tasks. We have repairing, we have harvesting, uh, mining tasks, and construction tasks. The first one I wanna do is give them a harvesting task for some wood. So I want them to go and just harvest a few trees there. We'll move that into that area a little bit. And uh, they are good to go. They're gonna start harvesting some trees. So these five guys are gonna do it. These guys aren't gonna do anything because this is an archer and a knight. So they're gonna stand guard, which is fine by me. But we need somewhere to put the wood. So I'm gonna make another new task. We're gonna go to build. And down here in the bottom left, we're gonna go to structures. We're gonna get ourselves a stockpile. We're gonna build a few of these. And I'm thinking I wanna put the stockpiles sort of just over here. Just ever so slightly out of the way. We'll do five by, we'll leave a little gap between them just so it looks kind of nice. So we'll do something kind of like this for the stockpiles, just so we have a bunch of them. And uh, you know what, we'll just cap it off a little bit, something like that and something like that. So when the resources are available, my Bricktrons over here, oh, we're losing some wood. My uh, Bricktrons over here will go ahead and start uh, building the stockpiles. So if I confirm that, you'll see the number change. There's no two, uh, there's no four people working on this. It's these four guys, it should be five now, yep. These five guys with the logs are gonna go ahead and use those to start building the stockpiles. When the stockpiles are done, they'll go ahead and start stacking up the logs on the stockpiles. And when they get a certain amount of logs on a stockpile, it'll actually turn into planks, which is pretty darn cool indeed. So a lot of this game is automated in terms of the way production works. You just need the resources. So if I tell them to, you know, go and bring a bunch of stone to a stockpile, that initially is gonna be a bunch of rocks, but eventually it will be crafted into proper bricks. But again, you know, you'll see all that a little bit later down the line. So what we'll go ahead and do is let them do their thing, let them bring all the logs over. Uh, hopefully we are gonna have enough to finish the stockpiles. I'm pretty sure we will. But whilst we're waiting, I wanna go ahead and I want to get a boulder job just over here, which doesn't actually highlight the boulders at the moment, but I think it will still work if I go ahead and confirm that and, uh, well, it might, it might not. We'll see what happens with that. Hopefully they'll do something with it. If they don't, then that's all good. This is early access. I'm playing in version 0 0.9 at the moment. You can actually see it in the bottom right there. Uh, so it is an early access game. There will, of course, be bugs from time to time. But there we go, this little guy is, in fact, gonna go ahead and start harvesting the boulders, which means we're gonna have some stone. Now, over this way, we actually have, I believe, this is called brimstone. And we're gonna want some of that as well, so I'm gonna get them to harvest all of that when uh, they get an opportunity to do so. So we're gonna get some stone, which will be brought over and put into these boxes. And eventually, when one of those boxes gets filled up, what'll happen is that'll be turned into bricks, as I believe you are about to see. There we go. We now have four stone bricks. The same isn't the same isn't said for brimstone, 
it just stays in boxes because it is a resource that we use for different things. Uh, but I believe stone and logs will turn into stone bricks and wooden planks, respectively, when they sort of fill up a space in a stockpile. At least I believe brimstone doesn't get turned into anything. I know it is used for a few things, so... I mean, we'll see what happens, but there we go. We're about to get more bricks, which is absolutely beautiful. So, what I also want to go ahead and do is get an order for some iron mining just over here because that is another resource that we are going to need. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Uh, we'll hopefully get some people doing that shortly. Yeah, we've actually got one heading over there right now to do the iron mining, which is going to get us another very important resource. And I guess I should probably talk about what the objective is at the moment. So we're currently playing uh, conquest mode. Now, conquest mode involves capturing three of these things right here, which I've completely forgotten what it's called, but these kind of gem things right here, I believe we need to capture three of them. Uh, now, there are enemies. The Corruptrons do exist in the world. I'm not quite sure where they are. Um, but I believe this gem right here, yes, is currently occupied by the Corruptrons. Now, if we want to go ahead and capture that, we need to go ahead and build ourselves a capture a capture ward sorry not a pylon uh, a capture ward now these capture wards are powered by this crystal you'll notice there's a radius obviously uh, this crystal for example is quite far away so we can use pylons and we can extend the radius, or not the radius, but we can directly connect back to this crystal. And then at the end of those pylons, we can put a capture ward or a capture pylon, I guess we'll call it. And it will capture this crystal down here, I do believe. Now, there are things like the lantern, which I believe is probably just a light based on the name. There's a sentinel, which is actually a pylon that will shoot at enemies. And there's a healing one, which I'm sure you can imagine what that does as well. So... All fairly useful stuff. What I am going to go ahead and do, though, is I'm actually going to build a furnace back here. And I'm going to build a workbench back here as well. Because these are going to be useful for a couple of things. The furnace will let me turn iron ore into, I believe, iron ingots. And the workbench will let me make gear for more archers and more knights. Now, this thing right here, the crystal, is very important because I can actually use this to get more brick drums. I believe if you look in the top left, this little yellow bar you can see when that fills up. So when we get to 160 points or whatever it's called, uh, it's completely slipping my mind. Uh, I believe we can go ahead and spawn another Bricktron. So currently we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Am I counting that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have seven of them. We might have eight of them. I don't know. Uh, select all of those. Am I counting this right? Oh, yeah, we got seven up here. We can see the total in the top left. So we have seven. We can get eight when uh, we get the necessary points to do so. Oh, look at this. Is that done? I think it might be. Uh, yeah, go ahead and let's start queuing some iron ingots. We are going to need a few of those. We do have some iron lying around over here as well, which is beautiful news. We have a lot of brimstone lying around as well and quite a bit of stone in general. Not a lot of wood, though. I'm not seeing a lot of uh, wood being transported. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this. Uh, I'll grow this area a bit and move it to there. Because I don't mind clearing out an entire forest to get ourselves a nice supply of wood. That stuff is going to be really useful. Stone is also really useful. There are multiple ways to get that. We can get stone by just mining into the ground if we need to. We don't have to go to boulders. Uh, what I will do actually is cancel this order because there are no boulders left and cancel this one as well because there's no brimstone left. Uh, this one over here, there's still iron, but what I will do is actually set an order to uh, go for more boulders. So there we go. We'll get that done as soon as possible. Looks like... Do we have... Oh, we do have an iron ingot. Good. And I believe there's probably another one currently being produced. There's more iron going in there. It looks like it does actually use brimstone uh, to light itself up, which is pretty cool. So we do need to consume some brimstone in the process of smelting some iron ingots. But those ingots are especially useful because we actually need them when it comes to making pylons, I believe. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am actually going to place a pylon there, because I think we have the resources to build it. And I'd like to place one... I, I kind of want to try and beeline it for this crystal down here, 
just to see if that's a thing we can do. Um, but what I may do is sort of go that way as well. I don't know. I don't want to use too many of my resources is the thing. So what I think we'll do is wait for this pylon to be built. Because uh, what I can do is actually see what resources we need for this thing. Uh, so we need one iron ingot and five bits of brimstone. So we have three iron ingots and plenty of brimstone, so we can actually go ahead and we can construct a few pylons. So I think I will do that. We'll go ahead and get one there. And we'll go ahead and get one done there. And we'll just slowly start building off towards... I wonder if I can use sentinel pylons to connect things up. I'm very curious. So if I place that there, for example... Oh, it does actually connect. That's really useful to know. Uh, so control click is how you'd go ahead and actually uh, delete something you've planned to build. But what I want to do is I want to put a pylon there and then a capture pylon down there. Because I'm curious to see if that's actually how that works. I don't want that one there. Uh, but what I would also like to do... Oh, look at this. We've increased the radius. That's beautiful. Uh, what I would also like to do is maybe try and put a sentinel pylon there. So that we're defended. Now, obviously, that's going to be a lot of things that we need. We need, you know, a lot of brimstone for the sentinel one. We need a lot of brimstone for that one as well. We should be okay. We should be able to make that work. We have plenty of iron being made. We have plenty of stone. We have plenty of iron left to mine as well. So... We are definitely in a good spot for this. We actually have someone heading down to do a bit of building there as well, by the looks of it. I believe. I'm not actually... Oh, you're taking the brimstone down. That's totally fine. You're going to an interesting... Oh, there's more iron there as well. I'm really going to need to stay on top of what I'm doing and where I am. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, you're doing the capture one. Interesting choice. I would have done the other ones first, but okay. You do you, little fella. Oh, there we go. We can actually see some of the uh, some of the wood coming together there, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so what I think I might go ahead and do, since we have this archer stood around at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and put him over there. But I kind of like the idea of starting to build something. And I think this is a pretty cool area to start an initial construction for sort of a basic settlement or or defensive spot we actually have another crystal over there as well i'll tell you what we'll do in terms of basic construction we'll go into here and we'll build a rope bridge so that we can actually get across to that crystal and so that there's gonna be an easy way to cross over that gap so we'll get a rope bridge built there we also have catapults as well explosive barrels bear traps doors etc etc there's a lot of cool stuff there that we can uh, absolutely do. What resources does this need? I've complete. Oh, so it needs just two planks of wood by the looks of it. Fair enough. We have that. We'll get that done eventually. Uh, is that another? Oh, it's not done yet. Oh, that one's done though. Well, that is an interesting choice. Going ahead and getting the capture pylon done so quickly. But okay. Fair enough. Uh, we actually have just got to the point where we can get another brick drawn, which is beautiful news. And you can tell quite clearly because we have a yellow orb going around the crystal. So if we hold right click on this, we can spawn another brick drawn. And there we go. We have poire, I suppose. <laughs> Not going to pretend to know how to pronounce that for a second. But there we go. We have pra Hmm. We have poire. There we go. I got the name. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. So, like I said, I kind of I kind of want to do some construction stuff. I like the idea of having my base built up around this crystal. But if I do my job properly, I don't need to urgently build it around the crystal. I can just sort of, you know, go ahead and, and build it anywhere and just have a good army or something like that. Speaking of which, I would like to go ahead and get an order to build me another archer kit and also build me... A night kit at some point. That's going to be uh, a really, really useful thing to do. I also want to queue up eight more iron ingots. Because we're going to need them. Let's be honest. We are we are going to need them at some point. Oh, what are you up to, buddy? Are you getting that done? Apparently not. Where are you, where are you guys going? Is that... Oh, it is. There we go. So that thing's not done. Are we technically capturing that? Okay, I was not aware that we didn't actually need to connect it. That could be a bug, but that's fine by me. If we, I mean, we're still, I think, I believe, we're, oh, it is connected. Look at this. 
We actually have it all connected up. That's beautiful. So is this mine? Is this, is this not mine? Is that... Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so do I need to build a normal pylon to connect that? Oh, I probably do. Okay. Well, that is fine by me. Uh, I'm wondering if... I don't believe they'll be connected. I don't think there's any way I can get those both to connect. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is... Do they create separate things? Like, are they designed to not connect together? I don't really know. Um, I want to build a pylon... Let's see, like, there. All right, we'll build that. We'll build that there. Oh, it does connect. They're just in a weird radius. Okay. All right. Uh, cancel that one. Go ahead and put that there. And put that there. So those will connect. And I wonder if that will contribute to more, I guess, crystal energy. So thus I can, I can maybe get more Bricktrons a little bit more quickly. That'd be really nice. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what resources do you need? It looks to me like it's sort of just planks that you need, but I don't know if that's the case. And where are you off to, buddy? Where are you taking that iron, fella? That's, uh, that's, that's not where that goes. That would be going over this way, little, uh, little buddy. Oh, look at this! The rope bridge is nearly done. Oh, not bad at all. So you're gonna put that done, and then you're gonna walk away with the other planks. All right. You do you, fella. You absolutely do you. Uh, you guys are still- are you guys still mining? Uh, yeah, there's still a lot of trees to go there. Oh, storage is full, though. Okay. Alright, I absolutely need to stay on top of that. Let's go ahead and get a bit more storage built. Uh, so what we'll do is just sort of build this way, I think. So that we can just get more storage in there. Uh, we'll build along here as well. So something a bit like that should absolutely do the job. Uh, we can even go so far as to build along here as well. So there we go. We'll get a bunch more storage put in over there. The more I build storage here, the more I'm thinking we really need to go ahead and sort our defenses. Oh, this is done. Beautiful. Oh, we've also got this. Oh, look at you. All right, not bad. Uh, I still- oh, that crystal there looks like it's taken by the Corruptrons. That's slightly concerning. It actually looks like a lot of the crystals are taken by the Corruptrons at the moment, which I'm not a huge fan of. This one down here, for example, we can actually see this one. So if Corruptrons go to that crystal, we will be able to see those guys and we will be able to see what they're up to. Uh, which is a little bit concerning, to be honest. Not too, uh, not too sure that I want to be too close to the Corruptrons. I wonder, though, if I was to go ahead and delete this... Like, is that a- is that a thing I can do? I don't know if it is. I guess we'll not worry about it too much. Is that about to be done? It is. But they didn't connect together, so I guess... I guess these don't connect together? Or maybe they do. Is that heading up to the other crystal? I think it is. So maybe we don't actually need to connect these and they just sort of create their own... Aura, I guess, is what I'm thinking. So, my, my theory there is this will feed back to the other crystal regardless. And each of these has, like, its own sort of aura going on, I, I think. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm still kind of new to this whole thing, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, I don't think there's any way I can delete this. I'm not sure. Which is fine. I mean, there's no urgent need to delete it. Uh, can I can I delete this goal? I don't really want it. There we go. Delete task. So yeah, we'll not worry too much about that. I think they just create their their own aura. So a bit of experimentation there is totally fine. These guys are doing a great job with the stockpiles. Uh, but what I want to go ahead and do is actually connect up to this crystal as well. So if I go ahead and build a uh, let's see a capture thing over here. If we go ahead and build that, I believe we'll just capture that crystal. And that's kind of fine by me. And I think this will be a good place to set up a first structure. So let's have a little bit of a look at building. So building is done brick by brick. It is it is legitimately done brick by brick. And it's kind of really satisfying. Uh, so what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and build basically sort of an archer tower looking thing. I don't need it to be too big. 
Uh, I don't really want it to be too big. So, what I'm thinking is we sort of do this kind of thing. And that's fine by me. Uh, we'll go for a slightly different pattern on the bricks for the next floor. So, something a little bit like this. And then we can go for just the single bricks there and there. Then above that, I want to go ahead and throw in this arch. Like that for the entrance. Uh, we can go ahead and throw a single brick there. And then we'll do the double bricks going the whole way around. So we're sort of alternating the brick pattern. So look, what the? Uh oh. Oh, we see Corruptrons. Corruptrons right there. Okay. Uh, cancel the building. Archer there. Knight over there. Go, 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 go. Oh, we have a few of them coming in. Are they going to attack my thing? Yeah, they are. Okay, so the Sentinel pylon is doing its thing. The Archer is also doing his thing. Which is really good stuff. So that Corruptron right there is done for. Uh, these things down here are getting destroyed. I might be about to lose a pylon, which is a pretty major concern. So I want to go ahead and send my knight down here to see if he can deal with them. I hope that these things aren't, you know, overwhelmingly strong. Because if they are, we're going to have trouble. Um, it looks like he can deal with them, but I kind of like the idea of sending my archer down to back him up. Oh yeah, he's going to have no problem dealing with them. But there's more coming in is my concern, so... Definitely going to get the archer to provide backup. Because it looks to me like the Corruptrons want to get in on this. And I'm not okay with that. So let's, let's deal with them. There's more coming in. Good lord. My knight's armor is almost gone as well. We'll be alright. We're going to be alright here. I believe the Corruptrons are currently capturing this. They're no longer capturing it though. Right. So... All right, this little guy here is going to get shot, which is fine. My knight's still doing okay. What I want to do is go ahead and build another capture pylon down here. I'm going to build it there. But I also want to build a sentinel pylon. Maybe two of them. Like that and like that. So there. All right. And then I want regular pylons that go back like that. And that connect to there. So we are going to really, really go hard on defending this. Uh, we do have more corrupt drones coming around, which is a bit of a concern. It looks like they're really pushing on this uh, this crystal, though. Uh-oh. Uh, let's get you to defend that, please. There we go. All right, you two can sort of go and stand by that crystal, I think. And just look after it. There's... Three Corruptrons around that crystal there. We're going to need to go ahead and start taking the crystals pretty hard. Um, do we have... We do have room for another little Bricktron. So we'll go ahead and get him. What resources do we need? We need, like, planks or something for this? Can we maybe... We don't need more wood right now. So let me cancel that task. Let me cancel this task as... Well. Actually, no. Keep that one going. Maybe. Hold on, what am I hearing? Am I hearing fighting? I might have been. I believe I was. So we have more of them coming around here. That's honestly fine by me. Not too worried. We can deal with them. Slightly worried about the three down here, but I think we're going to be alright for the most part. Especially once we get these sentinels up and running, we're going to be especially fine. Are you stuck? You are legitimately stuck, aren't you? Can you break that object for me and then get out of there? There you go. You are error. There you go, buddy. You're out of there. Alright, so he can get back to work, which is fine by me. We... Oh, these are coming along quite nicely. Beautiful. Very tempted to charge down there and attack the Corruptrons, but I don't think I want to do that. Oh, they've actually started construction over here. I did not expect them to do that. Alright, that's not actually what I wanted them to do yet. Because they're not actually going to be able to build this. Um. Because what I need what I need them to do is actually put a little staircase in there. So something kind of like that. Basically. 
Uh, so we'll do little blocks like that. So they can actually get up the walls is, is why I want the staircase. Um, but what I also need to be able to do is I actually, I'm going to need to go in and take out some stuff here to make this work, I think. Oh, this might be tricky. Um, I need to be able to brace the floor, essentially, that, uh, that my archers will be standing on up here. So, let me do this kind of thing, and then let me bring the, let me bring the height up a little bit further. Uh, so that's gonna go there. We'll bring this the whole way around like this. The stairs should make it easy enough for these little guys to be able to do what I want them to do. Oh, that's, those stairs are wrong, actually. Uh, so get rid of all of that and just build up like that and throw the stairs there. So what I should be able to do is put these plugs in the wall. And the point of these plugs is to let me go ahead and put in some flooring, essentially. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to want a plug just there. Actually, I might, I don't know if I do want to plug there. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, but the point of the plugs is that I can go ahead and use some wood to create some, uh, some bracing, basically. So like that, we now have support for a floor. And again, we have the support there. So what I'd want to do is use some planks to effectively go in and create a floor. Just like that. And then I can sort of do the same over here with the planks on these bits. I can put some planks on those bits as well. Uh, there's already a bit of stone there, so that's fine for a floor. And those bits as well can also be a floor. Now, it's not a very inspired looking building, I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty basic, but I'll be honest, my, my construction ability in this game at the moment is not great. I'm not, I have no intent on saying that I am the best when it comes to construction and castle story. But I am willing to learn, is, is what I will say. I am absolutely willing to learn. So we're going to put like a little castle fort looking thing here. Because I think it'll be kind of adorable. I'm actually going to put some pillars there because they're kind of cool. So a couple of pillars like that and then maybe like an archway on top of the pillars. Just so the entrance looks kind of really cool, you know? Proper little entrance there. Uh, we could even go ahead, if we really wanted to, and sort of clear out the floor. Which is something I kind of like the idea of doing if I can get in there to, uh, to do it. It's just a little tricky to do. But we'll clear out the floor just there so the land's a little bit flatter. Because we can, I believe, put doors on this if we want to. I think. Maybe we can't do doors like that, but we can We can get doors there if we really want to. Uh, I'm not going to bother with a new task. I'm going to hope that they can get that constructed. Uh, this down here is actually currently being captured, which is beautiful news. We've also got the two uh, sentinel pylons there. There are currently four bricktrons there, though. Uh, sorry, corruptrons there, which is a bit of a bit of a worry. But we'll get this captured. Uh, we have this one over here captured as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a couple of the sentinels built this way too. Um, I'd really love to put them on top of this tower though. I think that would be really cool. So like a sentinel just up there. And maybe, maybe, maybe just sort of one over there as well. So they're a little bit further apart. But we'll go ahead and do that. They'll be powered off of this one crystal. And I'm curious to see if anything's been done with this yet. Are we still waiting on this being constructed? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, I, I'm not quite sure why that's not being constructed. Um, we are running a little bit low on resources. For example, we don't actually have enough stone to even get this thing half completed. Which is a little bit of a concern. We are going to need to get more of that. Uh, we actually are out of boulders and out of iron over here as well. So what we can go ahead and do is we can actually start building a quarry. And by building a quarry, I mean we could start digging a quarry. So, let's give that a shot, I think. So, I believe if we just landscape, we are pretty much good. So, if we start with a bit of landscaping here, 
you know, we'll landscape up to that point, for example. We'll landscape to right there. Maybe bring that in just a little bit. So into there, over to there. And we can go ahead and say that's... Oh, that can actually go down a level, which is kind of cool. Right, we'll start with that. We'll start by clearing out the top layer for the landscaping. And we'll hope that someone gets on that pretty quick. They are probably going to prioritize construction. Which is totally fine. We actually have a sentinel pylon up there already, which is brilliant news. These two down here are probably going to be great assistance to my two brick trons that are by that crystal as well. So we'll see how this goes. Or, oh, they are going to get started on the landscaping. Uh, so yeah, they're going to clear out that sort of top layer of soil, which is actually going to give them some stone, which will be really, really useful to have. And then eventually what we can do is just keep going down more and more levels. Uh, we can dig like a little staircase so they can actually get out of there. But this right here is going to be a nice, easy way to get some stone so that we can go ahead and continue construction of the tower over here. We're also super close to getting another little brick tron, which is super, super good news. That's going to bring us up to 10 in total. I am just really curious about this. I'm not entirely sure how the workshop works. But um, I'll not worry too much about it. We could maybe put like a, we'll put a weapon stand or two back there as well. So we actually have places to put the weapons when they get done. But there we go. We've got a decent little bit of stone coming out of this landscaping task. Um, I could, if I really wanted to, go ahead and like lower it down slightly. Oh, wow. That's a bit low. Let me bring it up uh, just a bit. Oh, what have I done? Let me, let me, let me just adjust this task so it's back to where I want it to be. So there and there is where that task needs to be. So like that. Then in terms of depth, I just want to bring it down like... I just want to bring it down one. I don't want to go that crazy with it. Maybe I can't bring it down in terms of... Um, in terms of depth. Maybe that is a quarry thing. We'll let them clear this out and then we'll just do a quarry. We'll keep it nice and simple. We'll do a quarry once this is... Uh, completely cleared out because we did like I said we got a decent bit of stone we also have room to get another brick tron over here which is beautiful beautiful news so there's like two more or three more bits or is that done oh that is done okay so let me go ahead and clear that task and then what I want to do is a quarry in the same space so oh they actually built stairs oh that is adorable they are actually, they're actually going to build the little stairs into their own quarry and everything. That's, that's really, that's a really nice touch. Um, we do actually have the room to go down a considerable depth here as well. Uh, there is definitely room where they could fall off the world. So maybe we'll bring it in a little bit. Uh, just on all sides. So they're not going to be falling off of the world. So just something like that. You know, a decent bit of depth in the quarry. We'll say that that's, you know, 10-4. Go ahead and do it. We'll get ourselves another brick drone as well, bring it up to uh, 10 in total. And hopefully we'll see work on the weapons get started at some point as well. Uh, these guys are still hanging around that crystal, which I'm not too keen on, but I don't think they're interested in coming to me either, since I've got some pretty good defenses there. Uh, this is still being worked on. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to do it. Which is good news, because I was worried they wouldn't be able to do it, but there you go. Uh, you know what I could even go ahead and do? I could... Oh, no, it'll, inter it'll intersect that construction task. I was really hoping I could, um... I was really hoping I could go ahead and, like, clear out the floor inside that to make it look all nice, but I don't think that's gonna be an option. Oh, look at this. There we go. So the quarry is currently being dug. Do they dig the stairs out of stuff? They dig them out of the dirt. Oh, I didn't know they'd do that. Oh, my God. Quarries are so useful. Who would have thunk it? That quarries are useful. Um, can I, like, click on any of you and, and define what your task would be? It doesn't look like it. That'd be a really nice feature, though, if we could, like, click on them and say, hey, you're going to do this and not this. So I could say, hey, you're going to do, like, crafting rather than mining or something like that. That'd be a really nice little thing to do. Um, I would like this to be repaired, though, if possible. There's no goals currently there, so maybe they won't do that. That's fine. We'll leave that as is. I realize this isn't powering anything right now. I should, if I could get rid of this, that'd be really nice. Just get rid of that right there. Because then what I can do, I don't, I'm not worried. Because uh, then what I could do is have this, these three powered off of this one crystal. 
I'm super. You know what? I'm gonna send my two. I'm gonna send these guys. These guys right here are gonna go to that edge, and we're gonna see if we can just annoy the Bricktrons over here, or the the Corruptrons over here. Oh yeah, no, we've aggroed them. All right. So if we pull them back, like if we really, really get them to dive, this is this is like playing a MOBA. This is like tower diving in like Dota or something. I think I haven't played Dota in a very long time, so bear with me. But yeah, there we go. Oh, they have no chance. Oh, but those things need to recharge. Okay. Oh, they still have no chance though. And I am so okay with that. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Hello. What are you up to, little buddy? Nothing. That's what you're up to. Look at this. Look at this firepower. Oh, they are no match for this fully operational battle station right here. Oh, where are you going? No. No, no, no. You're not sneaking around. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh. Oh, someone thought he'd be clever. Is that what that was? Are we going to need to get some defenses going here over on this side? Because I'm fine with that. I am totally cool setting up some defenses over on that side. Oh, they have so many crystals, though. Um, yeah, we really are going to need to set up some defenses. We're going to make... We need to make a perimeter, basically. We need a defensive perimeter sort of along here and, like, along here. Because we we're defended up here already. So... We just need to be defended elsewhere. Oh, can they go that way as well? No, they can't go that way. So yeah, we need a pretty sturdy defensive perimeter uh, as far as I'm concerned. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that built. I think that's going to be a pretty good idea if we can get some sentinels. Um, a healing thing would be nice as well. I think I will try and put a healing... Uh, oh, did we lose one? We did. Oh, dear. Uh, I think I will put like a healing pile on there. Don't know what resources we need for that. Oh, we don't actually have the iron for it, really. Okay. Um, but then what I want to do is basically do this kind of thing. Where we have just so many sentinel pylons just along this line. So that even if the sentinel pylon gets broken, we're still in a spot where we are, you know, able to... Um, at least do a bit of damage. That's that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't care if we can't... Um, I, I don't really care if, if we lose them. Because we can get more resources. We can get all that stuff. Like, we've got iron right here. So what I'll do is give an order to go and mine out that iron. My only concern is there is a finite amount of resources. So I could very well fail this whole thing. If I'm not, like, super careful. Because uh, we, we have a finite amount of resources. We need to clear out the Corruptrons or at least get them at bay um, with the resources we have. So we don't necessarily want to be losing things like iron and brimstone. Because eventually, I don't believe, you know, we, we might have none left. And that would probably be game over for us. At least I don't think they regen. I mean, there's like, there's no stone growing back here. That doesn't, that's not quite how stone works. Uh, so... I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Let's just make sure we clear out tasks that we're not currently using. Uh, there are resources in the ground as well, I suppose. So when I say that we could run out, I mean we're going to potentially run out of like surface iron and all that stuff. So we'll uh, we'll probably be all right for the most part. Uh, these little guys are done getting some iron, getting some brimstone. I do hope we'll see this line of defenses come together soon enough. That would be really nice. I love this. Look at them just building. They're just just going to town, just building. They really are. I, I love the graphic style of this game, man. I, I really, I really do. It's so adorable. It really... I, I'm a sucker for, like, kind of simplistic graphics, really. Like, I don't need the most detailed character models in the world. I need something that looks like it's made of, like, Play-Doh. And, like, has just big, adorable eyes. That, that's all I need from a, a, a character in a video game, and I'm sold. Not even joking. Like, that, that, is, that is literally it. You, you give me a character that looks like he's made from yellow Play-Doh with big, beady eyes, and I'm like, oh, you're, you're adorable. 
You're, you're just adorable. It is the best thing. Uh, so what resources do we need for this? So for you, we... Yeah, it's just, it is just iron and brimstone, isn't it? So yeah. We need a lot of iron ingots. We have a decent bit of iron lying around. So what I'll do is say that we'll queue up a bunch of those. Can I do anything with this? No. We still haven't got this on the go, which is really concerning. I'm still, I'm not, I'm still not sure why we haven't got that on the go. Um, so shift click to add new worker slots. Can we do that? Can I do that? Oh, that's priority. Oh, so shift click and I can increase the priority. Right. Ooh. Okay. Well, what I'd like to do is say that the priority and that's pretty high. If I can find that task. Can I like double click it to go to the task? Oh, it's this one. Is it that one? Yeah. So that one's going to be pretty high priority. What is this construction task? That one. Okay. Then the quarry. Then active workers. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So that right there. That iron task is currently super high priority. Um, I'm going to set high priority on all of those mining tasks so that they'll leave construction for a little while and they'll focus on doing nothing but mining. Because that's fine by me. As long as they're gathering resources, that's totally fine by me. Oh man, I'm loving this. I really am. Uh, what is this just schmecka slang around here? What is this? Is that just, that's just brimstone, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's brimstone. Yeah, can I get like a, not a quarry order. Um, I want a cleanup task. So I just want like all of that to be gathered as soon as possible. I mean, it's going to take a little while because again, they are currently, some of them are focusing on construction, but most of them really should be focusing on mining. Uh, but we absolutely should end up with a lot of stone. We have a lot of stone already. We should end up with a lot of iron. We should end up with a lot of brimstone, especially if I go ahead and say, hey, why don't you mine out this bit as well? Uh, so go mine out that brimstone. Just like so. And get that done. We have some boulders around there as well. So there, you know, what I'm, what I'm saying, we might run out of resources. It's going to be a while and it's also not necessarily going to happen because there's so much in the rock. I don't know. I don't know what inspired me to be like, hey, we're going to run out of resources because I'm just looking around and there is a considerable abundance of brimstone, iron and boulders. Uh, and the map is quite sizable. Ooh, is that like the base of operations for the corrupt fronts? Could be. Definitely could be. Um, you know, I really want to try and make a... I really want to make a push on... Um, I want to make a push for this crystal here. I really do, but I also want to get these things done first so we have a proper defensive line. Because that's going to be ridiculous. Like that, that is going to be properly ridiculous when we get that done. Once we get a little defensive line up here. Also, these guys are actually not being healed, which is beautiful. So if needs be, I can just stand them in there. They'll constantly heal and they'll be able to deal with the Corruptrons. Which is kind of beautiful, really. So let's see, is this, is this, oh, hello. Uh, has this been touched yet? Not really. I really don't understand why. I can sort of like, so that's, that's like a priority thing now, right? I think. Or is it? I don't know. Am I like shift clicking to add or do whatever? I really, I really don't know how to increase like priority on something. It says no resources, but I beg to differ. I, I, I mean, it's, do I need, like, pla I mean, there are planks back here, so I, I really don't know. We'll not stress about it. I think my priority is just going to be dealing with the Corruptrons. So, um, let's get you two to go ahead and, um, fight these guys. Because we don't need the Sentinels to do that. We can absolutely fight them ourselves. And I am absolutely going to fight them with these two right here. So get them to just like stand there. The knight will aggro and the archer will completely mess them up. And then any damage done to my knight or my archer, we can deal with because we can just go back and heal. So yeah, this fight right here, no big, oh wow, that's 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 a big one right there. That's a big looking Corruptron. 
A little bit concerned about that. Uh, what's going on over here? Are you guys moving? Not currently. Can we maybe go deal with you as well? Like, maybe just set up there and wait for them to come to us? Because they will send people back to capture this uh, crystal again, and I'm okay with that because... You know, we can just keep going and, going and killing them. That's that's kind of what's going to happen. So for the most part, we really should be okay. Also, it looks like we're actually out of brimstone over here. So let's cancel that. Um, let's cancel that task right there. Uh, so just go ahead and no, don't deselect the group. I want to cancel the task. Uh, deselect. Can I like? There we go. So deselect task or cancel task or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What am I hearing? Oh, you guys are fighting. No, you're fine. Oh, my archer is not fine. Alright, so he can go ahead and start shooting them. The archer took quite a bit of damage there. So he is going to need to go and heal up. Which is totally fine. That's kind of be expected. That was totally my bad for sending him right into the heat of battle. So we'll send those guys back there to get healed up. We have another Corruptron over there. But I think once once my once my wall of defenses is up and running, I'm good to push forward and start trying to uh, to take this. I think once that's done is the point that we'll we'll start being a little bit aggressive. So you're not healing, which is beautiful news. You guys back here, I mean, you're still working on the quarry, which is also beautiful news because that just keeps us a nice steady supply of resources. Like, look at the amount of iron we have right now. Good lord. What is this? That's that's a construction task. I mean, we, we could do a construction task. But I think they're still prioritizing this one. Which is a bit weird. Although, I guess, like, there's nothing they can do over here, so that's clear. Uh, that is clear as well. Are we being attacked? We are. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. Get out of there. Less of that kind of nonsense. Definitely less of that kind of nonsense. Uh, let's see. So... We're actually really close to getting a 12th uh, Bricktron right now. Which is pretty cool. Uh, what is this task? So this this task here is a construction one. Where's uh, this is So this is a harvesting task. I want to set that to high priority. Uh, because I believe it's this one down here. And I want to try and get that, uh, that brimstone back to base. Because I'm really not too interested in the... Um, I, the, the construction is really not my priority essentially, is is what I'm getting at. So we're not going to stress too much about that. Uh, these guys are actually healed up quite nicely. So, I mean, we could push forward in this again. But I think once... I mean, how much brimstone do we have? Yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough brimstone. Is what I'm seeing here. Uh, we do have the means to get another, uh, another Bricktron, though. So let's get little... Uh, what's your name? Um, Maguar. I guess... Man, I am so good at accents. Oh, God, no. Uh, you two, over there. No, go. Get over there. Go help that little dude. Who is remarkably sort of holding his own, actually. That's kind of remarkable. Uh, so you were, you were constructing that. You've got some serious range there, buddy, just by the way. Uh, so these guys are just setting all of this up at the moment. What is the resource that we're lacking the most? That's kind of my big question here. I'm assuming it's brimstone since like... Well, no, I think the brimstone goes into the, the crystal, doesn't it? Like it's two... It's it's sort of a two-part thing. The brimstone is the crystal and then the, the base is made from the iron. So I guess we're lacking iron more than anything. And all of this construction is why we don't have any brimstone at the core... At the, uh, the stockpiles. I mean, that's fair enough. Hey, 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 you. No, 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 no. Get that one. Uh, actually, you know what? You could go deal with that guy. Because that one's going to die to the archer. And my archer might die to this guy. So hopefully we'll start seeing some brimstone come together over here. I guess the use of brimstone in construction is also why we are not seeing any iron getting made right now. Because... The brimstone is also used to smelt the iron. It's it's the it's the fuel to light the furnace. So we're sort of going to just have to wait a little bit. Oh, we've got uh, another attack coming in. That's fair enough. Not going to worry too much about that. We'll be pretty much 
pretty much nice and safe off of that one. Oh, that brimstone's nearly gone there. Are we really using that much brimstone? Or are we finally going to see some... Uh, are we finally going to see some come back to base? That's kind of what I'm hoping here. Let's see. There we go. We finally got brimstone coming in. So some of that is going to wind up being put into the furnace. Which is fine by me. That is that is totally fine by me because... Are you going to put it in the furnace? No, where are you going? I have no idea where you're going, buddy. Uh, some of that will be put in the furnace. Some of that will be put into construction. Hopefully not too much of it, though. Also, this task is about done, isn't it? Uh, there's nothing left there. So let's just go ahead and delete that task. And we're good. So they're going to focus on construction. Uh, we could set cleanup crew to be kind of a high priority thing, but there's nothing there. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, this bit of construction, I'm actually going to try and like set high priority on construction there. I don't know what construction that is specifically. Um, but we'll set high priority on it, on it regardless. Quarries get pretty high priority right now as well. Oh, this is finally working. So we're probably going to see, uh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, you guys get over there. Go, 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 go. Let's move before we lose that. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we're going to lose that. We're going to lose that crystal. This is bad. Come on. Kill them. Let's get them done. I'm not ready to lose that crystal yet. There's a big one in there, though. Which is a pretty major concern, to be honest. Come on. Let's get them done. Is there more coming in? Uh, no, not currently. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Where's this one going, though? That's a bit of a concern. Uh, oh, here they come. Yeah, there, there's more. There's more of them. All right, let's get another capture pylon built on here as soon as possible. So that we can keep this thing. Uh, I wonder if we still have it technically captured. Not really sure how that works. But, I mean... A capture pylon could be interesting. I, th I think we still have this one. Maybe as long as we have a pylon within range of it, it's still technically ours. Because we're not losing it, despite there not being a capture pylon. So I, I really don't know there. But I'm curious to find out. Oh, this is finally being constructed as well. Um, Let me get you over here a little bit. So you're a bit closer to the action. And let's sincerely hope that we can get all of this construction done down here, because we really need to get it done. Uh, this is still taking a lot of time, of course. That's kind of fine by me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not too worried about that taking a long time. Uh, we are... We were smelting iron. We're not currently. Which is fair enough, I suppose. Can I maybe lower the priority? And then the quarry's already super low. Oh, it's locked. So if I just turned off the quarry... By any chance? I don't know if I have. I don't know if that's how it works. I think I have, though. I think now that I've set it to locked, they're going to drop off their stuff and they're going to go do something else, which looks like it's going to be construction. Let me set that to high priority as well. So all of the construction tasks right now are high priority. This here is getting back underway. This still isn't. Which is fine, I suppose. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. You are not attacking any of my new stuff there. Where are you going? Or are you going over there? I think he might be moving down this way. That's fine. Let's just have you guys stay there then. Oh, we are losing this. Oh, but as long as we have someone in the in the area, we keep it. Okay. So we do need a capture pylon done here, is what that tells me. So just there, basically. If we can get a capture pylon, we will be good. And we'll keep that crystal. So fair enough. That's that's totally fine by me. Uh, really nice to see this floor actually coming together pretty well. They can still get upstairs as well. They're going to go ahead and start putting in all the, the upper bits here as well, which is super nice. So the tower's almost done. We have some iron over there. It just seems to me like construction is taking a little bit of time at the moment. 
which I suppose is fair enough. I mean, these ones over here are done, so connecting up to the Sentinels will be fine. It's just the Sentinels themselves that are taking time because we don't have the iron for it. Like, we need one bit of iron for each of these. Uh, so it's just taking a while. Uh, but we do have another Bricktron ready to go. So we'll get this little dude on his way. There's now 12 of them. You know what? I'm gonna have a real quick. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause for a second if I can. Uh, I just want to. I'm gonna pause for a second because I just really want to check and see that I'm. I'm not missing anything with regards to the workbench. Okay, I'll be honest. I feel like a friggin' idiot. There's something I've been overlooking this entire time, which is this plant harvesting. So if I go ahead and do some plant harvesting, we'll set that to be a pretty big area, right? Just like that. Plant harvesting, big area. Uh, go ahead and say that'd be pretty high priority because I want them to do it. That's going to give us a resource called fiber. Funnily enough, you, uh, you make, you make a, you make a bow, you know, the thing that fires your arrows. You make that out of, um, fundamentally two materials, right? One of those materials is probably some type of wood, preferably a flexible one. Uh, and one of those materials is going to be, you know, a fibrous kind of substance. You know, something like, uh, string, perhaps. Yeah. Also, why is there a little yellow orb around here? I didn't- someone didn't die, did they? I do hope not. That would be, uh, kind of bad if, uh, someone keeled over. Uh, so where are you off to? Are you- you're gonna start working on that, aren't you? Yeah, man. I feel like an idiot. I really feel like an idiot. Here's the thing. I was thinking, like, I've been recording this for, like, nearly an hour at this point. And I was thinking to myself, oh, wow, this is going to be, you know, a couple of episodes. But <laughs> I don't want, like, my part one to be... Because I've recorded a lot of things. Like, my part one of a Let's Play has been like, oh, how does this work? And the comments are always like, you know, oh, it works this way, dum-dum. So... I feel like this is just going to be a really, really long part one, or I'll do like two parts in one day. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what way we're going to make this work, but I feel like an idiot. I feel like a proper idiot, man. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Cannot believe I totally overlooked the, uh, the need for fiber. Really, really can't believe I overlooked the need for fiber in, uh, in the kits. But we'll get it done. The good news is that um, I believe the archer kit is not technically done. I think that's uh, that's the three components of an archer kit there. So what I want to do is you little fella, um, can I get you to like become an archer? How do I get, how do I make that work? How do I make that happen? So you're going to take that, you're going to put it on the stand. And... There is a way, I've just completely forgotten what that way is, to get someone to actually go and actively become an archer. So you, little fella, can I, let me pause so I can highlight you. So if I click on, like, you. I can't interact with you, though, that's the problem. Uh, well, I'm paused. Right. So you're gonna move, attack, no, close that. I don't want you to attack anything. Drop what you're carrying, buddy. Drop, or don't, that's good too. All right, fair enough. Don't drop what you're carrying. Don't bother listening to me. I mean, why would you do that? Uh, are these connected up down here? Oh, those are all connected, and that's not firing actively. Beautiful. Um, you guys can head over that way. Because we are going to need to back these things up a little bit. So fire on that guy. And fire on that guy as well. Get after him. Come on, let's, let's get after him. Don't know where he thinks he's going. But he's up to no good, and he is fast as well, good lord! Come on, what are you- what are you doing? You're gonna attack my Bricktron? Is that what you're gonna do, buddy? I don't think so. Delta is on your tail there, fella. So if I do- if I, like, highlight you and right-click over this... Oh, go equip the content! Go become an archer, Jom- uh, Jombo! Oh, absolutely go become an archer. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, the construction's done. Beautiful, close that. Uh, we didn't build the sentinel up there, but that's probably fine. Um, okay. Now, what we can do is we can actually, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we can totally put some of these, uh, these things here are called wards, by the way. I've been calling them pylons. They're called wards. Um, sentinels actually are the, I believe, I mean, all of them can sort of go on walls, right? So, the, well, the healing one can, but the sentinel 
and the healing ones go on the floor. They have to. But I believe, like, the the lantern can go on a wall. The pylon can go on a wall. That's kind of cool. The catapult's also apparently been nerfed in the update that I'm currently playing, which is fair enough. I, I can imagine a catapult being kind of powerful. Uh, but I want to put a sentinel up there, I think. I want to try and get that built ASAP. I also want all of this to be built. Oh, we lost a... Did we seriously lose a sentinel already? Come on. What is this? Get out of here with that nonsense. Um, <laughs> I'm not okay with that, man. That's not that's not cool. Uh, let me put you there. And let me put you just over, over here. Oh, we're recapturing that. Beautiful. And let me put you, little fella, uh, just over this way as well. Because we should be... We should be in the midst of actually making... Uh, we should be in the midst of actually making the knight's gear. We just don't have the brimstone currently, because we're constantly using the brimstone for all of the, the wards. So, we do need more brimstone right now. So what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and reactivate the quarry. So we'll set the, qu the quarry to be like high priority, because no one's really doing much at the moment anyway. And it does look to me like there is brimstone in the rock. So we'll go ahead and get that done. And see how that goes. We have recaptured this, which is beautiful news. These guys here look like they might be up to no good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you there, I think, just for the sake of safety. I would really like to capture this crystal at some point, so I may very well need to move my defensive line up to here um, at some point. But I really want to try and capture those two crystals. That's kind of my goal here. I, I think... I think that's definitely going to be a thing that we need to do. Now, these guys, this guy here is getting absolutely destroyed nice and quickly. I just want these other ones built. I really do. But we just need the brimstone. Although, I suppose we're getting it. I, I guess we'll be fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think what I'll go ahead and do then is I'm going to leave it there for this episode. It's been a long one. Uh, I haven't done like an hour long video in a very, very long time. But hopefully this gives you a really nice introduction to what Castle Story is about. This is going to be a uh, sort of... Uh, I won't say a full Let's Play on the channel because I don't think it's going to be like a 30-part thing. Uh, but it is going to be a Let's Play on the channel regardless. I'm kind of keen to see if I can manage to overthrow the Corruptrons. There's a lot of them. They have a lot of crystals. And there's a lot of room to expand to, to uh, attempt to deal with them. So hopefully... Hopefully that is a thing that we can wind up doing at some point. We will absolutely find out. But ladies and gentlemen, in the description below is going to be a link to go and check out Castle Story on Steam. It is an early access. It is £15 at the moment. It's a bunch of fun. It's absolutely adorable. And uh, I absolutely encourage you to... Uh, check it out. But hey, if you don't believe me, there's going to be a full Let's Play here on the channel, so you can go ahead and watch that and see for yourself. There's a bunch of maps in the game, so they're not all going to look like this. Some of them have buildings on them uh, already, so if you don't want to build your own structures, there is one that um, was in the Kickstarter trailer, actually, that has a really nice castle on it, so... There's maps that have buildings already, if that's not your thing. There's sandbox modes, if you don't want to deal with the Corruptrons. You know, go at least check it out and uh, see what you think. You might find that it's a bunch of fun. Either way, thank you, Hannah, for watching. This has been Castle Story Part 1. It's been an absolute pleasure. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye